welcome to WPLMS tutorials in this tutorial we are going to learn how to create course layout course cards and how to manage the course directory for the course directory we have a course card functionality which you can find in the YBP course card section and there is a course layout section as well the concept of these these layouts is that these are templates which get applied for your courses in later tutorials we are going to see how you can create different course layouts for different course types so let's get started so in the ybp course layouts you can create a simple course layout and you can edit it with elementor right so when you edit the course layout with elementor it is going to randomly pick any course and then it is going to show show the details of the course to you for building the layout you simply go to the elementor search widgets and search course and you'll find that we have added all the elements of the course for example we have the course image then we have the course button then we have the course information which contains the title the sh the excerpt or the short description the full description then we have the course uh, curriculum which is which looks like the like this then we have the course price so the course price will automatically change to to the course status once the user subscribes to the course then we have the course reviews so the reviews appear just like the ones in the current wblms and you can design a about instructor page about instructor section by adding various elements of the course instructor so if you simply search course and you'll see course instructor data and course instructor info the course instructor data will have the reviews for example if i just show what all options are there so these are all the profile fields which we have created but they are going to show for the instructors of these course then in course instructor data you can find the instructor image average rating review count student count and course count also all this information is visible here one more thing if you have multiple instructors then you are going to design the instructor section once and it is automatically going to repeat for multiple instructors for the course so the main difference is that the response time for the course template is going to be really fast and it can be cached just like a static cache page so on similar lines you can create a course card so here you can create a course card so i'm just going to cr quickly create a course card for you and you can see the process so it depends upon how you are going to use the course card in your directory so if you are going to use a grid layout then you should create your course card in the vertical format if you are going to use the list layout then you should create a course card in the horizontal format that we are creating here
so we created a course card here now let's create a course directory so you can create a page and edit it with Elementor Now you'll see a loading sign here, but it does not mean it is not having any content. Since this is a React script, it is going to generate content for the user. But for the for SEO purposes, also there is a default content which you can see if you disable JavaScript on your site. So the search engines will going to find the list of courses with titles and description on this course directory page you can open this page so you can open this page in the uh, in another uh, tab so here you can select the card style which has all the previous card style options so if you're going to select these any of the existing cards and set six then this is the minimum width of the course V this depends upon how you created your course card for example i created the course card as a list which was in horizontal uh, section so i'll give a bigger width because i want one card to show in one row if you created the uh, course card in a vertical format then you can reduce the uh, width of the of, of the card here then we have the show filters so you can create and register a custom taxonomy for the course and it will automatically appear in the in the elementor directory widget in another row and you can have unlimited taxonomy filtering in the uh, directory for the courses then we have the show instructor filter the price filter now the important part is that we have the duration total number so all these fields all these filters now appear for the directory filtering because we have registered them meta field for the course which means you can have your custom filters in the directory if they are of type number that date select checkbox or radio we can filter the courses by the course start date we can also filter the courses by number of students that is then by duration of the course if completion certificate is enabled or not and you can sort by the passing for passing percentage now here is the card style so here if i'm selecting card style as course 2 which was the vertical one i can probably set a lower width and I'll update and now if I reload the page so here you can see we have the we have the courses appearing and when we click on show filters you can see we have the filters appearing so by default all the number filters will appear like range selectors the dates will appear like sort filter by the date range and you can clear all these filters then we have the category then we also have the price and instructor filter so the last part is that we select the style of the card as uh, Elementor course card and update so now now when you are making changes in the card style I suggest that you open a new tab to load the uh, course directory again so here is our card which we created so right now it is appearing two in a row because we have selected a smaller width of course you can select a bigger width because i created them as a horizontal 
list style cards and now if I reload see that our card styles are now appearing and with all the filters working with all the filters now working on the on our card style so that's it from WPLMS tutorials thanks for watching